friends, welcome to Sahana Study Table, where you can become a genius. This is the place where we all study together. This week, we're going to take a step away from human body and learn about weather instruments. Number one on the quiz, thermometers measure blank. A, weather, B, temperature, C, rain, D, water vapor. Oh, oh, I know this. A thermometer measures temperature. Thermometers measure temperatures in degrees according to either the Celsius or Fahrenheit system. Number two. What does a anemometer measure? A, atmospheric pressure. B, solar radiation. C, rain. D, wind speed. X, I don't know. Do you? Okay, good. Answer, come on out. Oh, it's D, wind speed. An anemometer is a device used for measuring wind speed and is also a common weather station instrument. The term is derived from the Greek word animos, which measure, which means wind, and is used to describe any wind speed instrument used in meteorology. Okay, that made sense. Now, number three, a blank measures atmospheric pressure. A, hygrometer, B, pyranometer, C, barometer, D, rain gauge. I think it's a hygrometer. Am I right? No, this always happens. Anyways, the correct answer is C, barometer. Air pressure is the weight of the atmosphere pressing down on the earth. It is measured by a barometer in units called millibars. Okay, number four. What instrument measures liquid precipitation or rain? A hygrometer, B pyranometer, C barometer, D rain gauge. Um, I don't want to guess. So take your 10 seconds. Ready? It's D rain gauge. A rain gauge is an instrument used by meteorologists and hydrologists to gather and measure the amount of liquid precipitation over a set period of time. Five, what does a wind vane do? A, shows the direction of wind. A oh, wind, ha, huh, I said it wrong. B, measures air pressure. C, all of above. D, none of above. Huh, I've seen a wind vane before. But, what does it do? Let's go for the answer. Oh, a wind vane shows the direction of wind. Okay. A weather vane or wind vane or weather cock is an instrument for showing the direction of the wind. Simple. Six, what does a pressure sensor measure? A, liquid pressure only. B, gas pressure only. C, vapor. D, liquid and gas pressure. Huh, studied in a book. The answer is D, liquid and gas pressure. A pressure sensor is a device for pressure measurement. Oh, that rhymes. Of gas, gases, or liquids. Pressure is an expression of the force required to stop a fluid from expanding and the and is usually stated in terms of force per unit area. Okay, that makes sense. Seven, a blank measures the water vapor content. A, rain gauge. B, hydrometer. C, pyranometer. D, weather map. Okay, this time you give an answer. Okay, ready? The answer is... Hygrometer. Relative humidity can be measured with a hygrometer. A measure of the water vapor content of the air is called humidity. 
it is most often expressed as a ratio of the amount of water present present in a given volume of air compared to the total amount of water vapor, which that same unit of air could actually hold. Okay, number eight. What weather instrument measures solar radiation? A. Rain gauge. B. Richter scale. C. Pyranometer. D. Mag of quakes. <laughs> that sounds funny. Ooh, it's C. Pyranometer. Pyranometers measure hemisphere. So, okay, let me pronounce that again. Hemispherical solar irra irradiation or broadband solar radiation within a 180-degree field of view. This may be considered the global solar radiation of a given hemisphere. Number nine. What expresses the magnitude of earthquakes? A. Rain gauge. B. Richter scale. C. Pyranometer. D. Mega quakes. The funny name. Okay. Think for 10 seconds for this one. The answer is B. Richter scale. The magnitude of earth an earthquake usually expressed by the Richter scale is a measure of the amplitude of the seismic waves. Okay, the last question. How much does one cubic foot of air weigh? A, 0 0.0807 pounds. B, 0 0.0807 kilograms. C, 0 0.0807 grams. D, 0 0.0807 milligrams. Huh, this is a tough one. Okay, I'm just gonna guess 0 0.0807 grams. Am I right? Nope. I always, always, always get it wrong. Anyways, back to the quiz. The correct answer is A. 0 0.0807 pounds. Okay, one cubic foot of air at stranded temperature and pressure assuming average composition weighs approximately 0 0.0807 pounds. Thank you. To encourage me, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications on my videos.